Now once we got this output which is addition of two numbers, so this was the output we got which is result is 13, right? So let me close all extra tags here. Okay, so this is what we were getting, right? Let me run this again so that I will show you the output. Okay, it's taking some time. Let's So let me pass two values here, which is 7 and 8, and you're getting the output as 15, right? Now there's one, may, one more way of writing this code. So instead of specifying the request.get attribute, we can actually use something called as EL. So EL stands for expression language. So how to use EL? So we have to use a dollar symbol and curly brackets. We have to mention the name of your label, which is result. So if you if you see this we have result and then here also you have to mention result okay now let's run this let's see what happens if i run this code so let me enter two values nine and eight if i say submit it says result is in dollar result we want the output not this part right the problem is uh, there are multiple times where el is not supported so First is maybe your your uh, Tomcat, your your web server is not uh, supporting EL, or you're using a servlet version which is below 2.4. I'm using 3.0, uh, so you might you might be using a servlet version below 2.4, or uh, maybe your JSP page has actually ignored all the uh, expression uh, expression language. So how to enable that? So in the page section, we can use something called as is el ignored. So by default it is false, but in my machine it is true now. So what I will I will do it is again false. I don't want to ignore el. So you just have to add this line if in case if you are getting error. And let's go back to the code. Let's run this, and you got the error. Which, you got the output, which is result is seventeen. Cool. So that's how you, you, you have to use EL here. Now what we'll do next is we'll be creating an application, a login form in Spring MVC. Okay, so I, I hope you got the basic idea about Spring MVC. So whenever you try to, uh, we can do one more thing here. What we can do is uh, whenever you talk about web applications, so we'll be having multiple layers. So this is your controller layer. So when you are adding two values, we should not add values inside your controller. So all the logical processing should be done in something called a service method. So how to use service? So we have to, or oh, sorry, service class. So we have to create a new class here. We'll name this class as add service and make sure it belongs to a different package. We'll say package name is com dot telesco dot service. Okay, and in this service, we'll be having a method which is called as public int add, which will take two parameters and it will return one parameter, we'll say return i plus j. Okay, and in this controller, what we can do is instead of uh, creating object, we can, or uh, yeah, yeah, we have to create object of add service here. So we have to say add service, we'll name this as as equal to new add service. And then we'll be using as. Oh, we need to import the package. So we'll say control space. So there are two ways of importing the package. Uh, go to the class and then say control space. That's one way. Or second way is you can type control shift O. If you're a Mac user, you can type command shift O. Okay. And uh, we'll fetch that value. We'll say int k equal to as dot add it we have to pass two values and then it will add your values and you will get the output now you will say to add two numbers we have why we have to create a new new class altogether uh, see in your in your real life project you will be not building additional addition code or uh, calculator you'll be doing something very big right maybe you are creating a login form maybe you have to fetch the current stock market price so you can ask your service class to do that for you okay so this if you are fetching stock stock market price this will not be only one line this will be maybe 50 to 40 to 50 lines 
Cool. So that's how we need to use service. So in the next example, we'll be talking. We'll be creating a new MVC application. But we need to. We will also deploy that application on OpenShift server. So what we'll do is we'll first create a cloud-based application, not cloud-based, but a, a, a Maven application which you which you can deploy on OpenShift server. So make sure you watch the next video. And yeah, that's it from this video. We'll see in the next part.